Okay, this is the compartment under the front driver's side. This is where most of the electrical is. I've just got my lamp down there so I can see. This here, that's probably the gray water tank, I think, for coming out of the shower and the sink. Here's the power unit. Uh, I'll have a look at it. Like I say, it works, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Here we've got a 30 amp cord coming into the power unit and a couple of blue uh, blue wires feeding off to feed a couple of outlets. And then all this other stuff is my 12 volt stuff. So I'm going to try and uh, diagnose my running lights up top. Based on what we found at the back with uh, green green and white wire being used as the ground and the running lights. I'm going to assume this is the same. So this, I'm just lifting up the uh, insulate there, the foam, and I see I've got three wires running up. So the green should be for the power on the running lights. The white should be a ground. This other black one, that's probably just a power one to feed the internal lights on the trailer. So I'll follow that. And then I'm looking over here following it here they got spliced together runs over here spliced into here then I see we've got another green and a white running over to the passenger side of the trailer so my assumption is I'll look over there after that that'll go over there and run up it should run up the wall on the passenger side to feed the running lights up top on that side but first I'll check this driver's side so again, this is driver's side. That's the jumble of wires down there. Those two wire, or those three wires, the green, the white, and the black. My assumption is they're running up inside the wall, up to about here. And one of the previous owners has already cut a hole there. So that if I poke in there, that's probably where those wires are. So I'll have a look. Then those other two I saw that were spliced off of it, they should run under the floor all the way over to the other side and chances are they'll run up here and then tie in up in this corner for those other running lights. You can see on the outside of the trailer here each corner just has two running lights. There's nothing in the middle to worry about so just two on this side and two on the other side. Okay here we are this is driver's side front so these are those three wires coming up so I've got a green which is power for the running lights. White is your ground. Here's that power what I'm assuming is a power one this, I believe, will just be for the appliances and the lights in the trailer. So it looks like this one's running down the driver's side. It's going to continue back there somewhere. And there's also another one coming from over there that runs over here. This, I'm going to assume that's a power one. And that probably goes to those wires there that were hooked up to the light. That's my guess right now. Uh, as for the signal lights, uh, for the signal and the stop and all that, I haven't checked yet, but my assumption is that they're probably going to be running along the bottom of the trailer, but we'll find that out later on. Right now, all I'm concerned with are these green and white ones to hook up my running lights going outside. And you see again, like these two big holes. I don't think there was a light on there at all, so there's been water coming in there probably for a while. Okay, so I've repeated the process here. I've just pigtailed in a little length of wire because I want this, I want to have some extra. So there's my power for my running lights. There's my ground for my running lights. So I'll have the two ends there. This will be my running light. It'll be on the outside of the trailer with this black and white wire. So white being ground, black being power. Okay, those two wires will be coming in through those holes up there and then splice, then I'll just splice them into these two here. Okay, I double checked actually this green and the white, they don't run all the way to the back of the trailer, they just run to this other light that's up here. And then I have a black, which is a power, and a ground running down to the appliances. Again, I'm assuming those are appliance wires, and that's a ground wire. Now the problem with it all being tied up in series like this, like, so here's the, uh, my assumption is this is a ground for also the appliances in the trailer too, right? Your lights. So if anywhere along this line, if something, if something becomes unconnected, it'll affect everything in the trailer. That's my guess. Okay, so I've got the new lights just uh, wired in. Now I notice on this side, this is passenger side. 
there actually is a green so a power and a white ground coming straight up so chances are the main wires will be running around the perimeter of the bottom of the trailer now when I plug the vehicle in the light should go on if they don't then that means somewhere along the line here with that white ground or the power there's a break in the line down here and I believe that might go across all the way there over to the other side but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it yeah I plugged in the truck and turned the lights on and there that marker light is working and that one's working and the two on the other side they're working as well so there that's uh, so I've got all my running lights running anyway now what I'll do is I'll screw these in properly and plug up those holes a bit again this is just a temporary job but I still don't if it rains I don't want water coming in those big holes okay so I put the lights in on the front stainless screws going through and we'll pop the cap on now you notice I won't once I clean the trailer up for painting I'll get rid of all this stuff but right now I want everything working but you'll notice there's no uh, silicone all around the edges and that it won't be required now if I left things as is like you see the stainless screws coming through and they're tightened up uh, but if I left as is we still got these two big holes and water would seep in so I'm just going to take some uh, dap and uh, fill those holes up doesn't have to look pretty there and that should do for now for my other holes where the rivets came through to hold in the cabinets I'm going to keep the cabinet out for now but for what I'll do for now is just stick a bolt with a washer through and tighten it up just to help uh, cut down on the rain coming or any water seeping in